What is going on, FUD Nation? And welcome back to another episode of FUD TV. I'm your host, Elio Trades. And yes, your eyes do not deceive you. I am wearing a robe. The question is why? And the answer is simple. It's because I'm comfortable. I'm extremely comfortable. I'm cozy. Even though my cryptocurrency is out there in the internet, I'm extremely cozy, comfy. And I'll tell you why. It's because of this right here. This is a Ledger Nano. If you don't know what a Ledger Nano is, I'm going to explain that to you really simply right now. But essentially, you can think of it as the ultimate key to your cryptocurrency account or your cryptocurrency funds. Your Bitcoin address comes with something called a private key. Now, a private key is essentially the way that you open up your Bitcoin address and can actually move money out of that address. So without that private key, you might be able to see how much money is in that address, but you can't open or touch or manipulate the funds. The only way you can manipulate the funds in a Bitcoin address is through a private key. Now, a Ledger Nano S is essentially your private key to your Bitcoin address. The beauty of this system is that you don't actually ever know your private key, so you can't make the mistake of accidentally giving it out to someone or having someone hack you and find out what your private key is. What you do have is access to the key on this device, and you gain access to that by a combination of a pin code, which I'll show you how to enter, and a backup recovery phrase, which you're given at the time of setting up this device. In order to access funds that are stored on your cryptocurrency hardware wallet, all you have to do is connect it to your computer, enter in your pin code, and then you get this check mark. And when you get your pin code right, you're able to unlock this device. And by unlocking this device, you can then gain access to the different apps on this device. By storing your cryptocurrency on a hardware wallet, you make it much, much harder for hackers to get a hold of your funds. Someone would need to not only gain access to your private key, which is held on this device and protected by your, both your pin code and your backup phrase, they would also have to click one of these buttons on this device to trigger the release of your funds. The fact that it's necessary to click a hard button on this device in order to authenticate a transaction makes it much harder for a hacker across the world to steal your cryptocurrency. That is one of the big facets of this technology is the hard button interface that allows you to know that your currency is only releasable if someone has this exact device. Every Ledger device comes with a 24 word backup phrase which you need to write down meticulously. I'm not gonna show you mine, but just know that if you write down these 24 words properly that it'll show you upon setup, and we'll show you how to set this up in a dedicated video about setting up your debt ledger nano. But if you write down your 24 word backup phrase, you will not be able to lose your currency. That phrase alone, these 24 words in order will allow you to recover all of your money from ledger. You can get a new ledger uh, cryptocurrency hardware wallet and reload all your other funds if anything were to happen to this one. A cryptocurrency hardware wallet is like a key to your bank account of cryptocurrency, and it's the safest way that we've come up with to protect your cryptocurrency investments. That's it for me. We hope you enjoyed this brief overview of what a Ledger Nano wallet is. We're going to be doing a lot more videos on how to set up your Ledger Nanos and how to keep your cryptocurrency secure with each and every coin that they support. But for now, we hope you had enjoyed this brief instructional video about what is a cryptocurrency hard wallet and why would you use one like Ledger Nano. We'll be back with much, much more. And if you enjoyed this video, don't be afraid to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Elio Trades, and we'll catch you on the next episode of FUD TV.